Hello. So we are back. And this time we have uh, a job. It's a customer job. And if you remember uh, this kind of laptop, because I had a video, Acer Swift 3. We have one here, remember, with the one which we bought the second board from eBay because everything was blow up inside. Anyway, this is that kind of job. Uh, this laptop came with uh, with charging port replacement, yeah? So we are not diagnosing, we are just replacing the charging port. Uh, and that's all, yeah? I mean, I can't see that how that charging port can be faulty, but that's what the customer asks to replace the charging port. And I really, really, really enjoy when uh, the customer asks for a specific service. Yeah, like uh, this one, charging port replacement. I mean, I have nice memories with customer asking a service. Uh, back on the shop, uh, on the on the other shop, the customer came, you know, I want a charging port replacement. And I tried to explain to him, you know, you, you just leave it and uh, we'll have, no, 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 I, I want just a charging port replacement. Okay, that's the price. I do the job. And he come back, he replaced it. Yeah, I replaced the charging port. So it's working. No, it's not working. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to pay. If it's not working, I'm I'm not getting anything, you know? Yeah, but you ask me for a service, I provide the service. You know, I done my part of the job. And yeah, you have to pay. And, you know, the customer start moaning, oh, no, no, sorry, sorry, but no, I can't pay if, if the laptop is not working. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we have the charger. We have the charger here. But, you know, I always have fun when I have, uh, when I have in the shop uh, this kind of, uh, of customers. I mean, okay, I'm not, uh, I'm not accuse them, you know, because let's say you have a broken charging port and you move it and you move it and at some point the laptop, it will stop working. Then you'll think the charging port died, but actually you have a different fault and that's a second fault. Can happen, can happen. Let me plug the charger. First, let's check the charger just to be sure the charger is good. I mean, don't get me wrong, on the shop where I work, we never charge for diagnosis, yeah? If you don't want to fix it, it's fine. But, you know, we can, uh, we can, uh, you know, we can diagnose the thing for you for free. Uh, so uh, we have the multimeter on screen and the charger has 19 volts. You can see on the screen, so the charger is good. Uh, we can plug the charger into the laptop. I mean, let be, let's be honest, you know, this is a round uh, pin charging port. Usually the middle pin is getting broken, and I can see the middle pin here. Oh, okay, this is loose. Wow. Oh, I, believe, I believe the customer was right this time. So you, you can see, you can see how, uh, how loose it is, I mean... But that doesn't mean it's the charging port, yeah? That doesn't mean it's the charging port. Let's open the laptop and have a look. But it's not the same board. It's not the same board like the other one. No, 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 no. This is different. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so here is the charging port. Here is the charging port. Let's plug the charger and let's check the voltage. So the charger is plugged in. And check on the screen. <laughs> check on the screen. I mean, okay, the, the charging port, it is kind of dodgy, but it's good. It's working. We have 19 volts. So what should I say now? Should I call the customer or just replace the charge port as it's part? Yeah, so this is not a, sorry, can you fix it? No. How much you will charge me to change the charging port? <sighs> yeah, 
Well, okay, let's have a look under the microscope. Let's see if, if we have something dodgy there on the charging port, like uh, the solder pins, things like that. It's proper strange now. I, I should text the customer. Sorry, I haven't checked. Uh, I haven't replaced your charging port, but I did check the other things on the laptop and uh, doesn't look good. Your laptop doesn't look good. I mean, clearly here someone worked. Okay, the charging port is moving. Oh, wow. Huh, okay, take my words back. Okay, let's come with the power supply. Let's see if the laptop is working. Uh, plus, I heard a click on the mother on the power supply. Yeah, it's working. It's taking 160 milliamps. I, I can see the charging light on the on the laptop. <clears throat> Uh, it's taking 160 because the battery is very discharged. Can be. Or uh, I'm not sure if this this laptop here actually it's a switch when you plug the charger. Not sure if that's the model. Or the battery is very discharged, but if the battery is very discharged, we can do a trick, yeah? Let's lower the voltage, let's lower the current, yeah, about one, one amp, and let's charge the battery quickly, yeah? So we have ground plus, and now we are pushing on the battery like one amp, and the battery has 12.6 volts, 12.6, which is low, yeah? Let's raise the current. And we are pushing 1.6 amps into the battery. Yeah, that's how you charge fast the battery. I just want to see if the laptop is charging fine. Okay, so the voltage rise on the battery. Let's switch back to uh, 19 volts, 20, doesn't matter. And let's see. Let's see if it's charging fine. Yeah, it is charging fine. You can see on the screen it's 1.1 amps, which is fine. We have the red light there on the charging. Okay, I take my words back. Um, so the customer has been right. Yeah, the charging port is not only desoldered, but it's dodgy. I mean, we can clearly see here it's moving. This is like, you know, it's like moving freely. Now we can do some tricks, but I don't want to do any trick. You know, the customer clearly asked for a charging port replacement. Yeah, and I'm not doing tricks on the customer money. So what we're going to happen, I will order the charging port and uh, uh, probably I will see you later. Yeah, bye. So we are two days later and we received uh, the charging port. So now we can replace the charging port for, uh, for this customer. It looks like someone already replaced this port. Okay, so how we are replacing the port? Let's get the hot air. And first let's remove the, the port.
I mean, it should be an easy and pleasant job replacing a charging port. So the port is out. Yeah, that's the old port. Now let's clean everything here. Let's be sure uh, everything is fine here. I mean, you see, I can see this truck is uh, this truck is uh, is not okay. Now it's fine. Now it's okay. Yeah, everything looks fine. Now let's solder back the, the port. Yeah, that's better. We know reflections. Let's solder back the port. We have around 300 degrees, 320. And the port just slides inside nicely. Now let's be sure this middle pin is soldered properly on place. And it is. And the sides. And it is. Perfect. Let's see on the other side. Everything is perfect here. Perfect. Now we can put all back together and test. But well, looks okay and yeah? looks decent. Can we test it? Plug in the charger. Let's get a multimeter. Ground plus, and we have 19, you can see on the screen. It's all good, yeah? Let's put all back together. Okay, so everything is back together. Now let's test. Plug in the charger. And we have the charging light there. You can see it's orange. And let's see if the laptop is coming on. Power on. And we have the backlight on the keyboard and the laptop is on and working fine yeah obviously there's no hard drive inside but the job was the charging port which is done okay so this time the customer has been right yeah it's surprising but 
Yeah, someone tested the laptop before. They seen the charging port is dodgy. And uh, the customer gave me a right diagnostic on this job. So that's how you replace the charging port on this laptop. If you have this job, you can buy the charging port from eBay. I think it's around five pound, something like that. Anyway, thank you for watching. I guess subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye.